Hey guys, do Legit City here. Today we're gonna be going over some mechanics in the game of Oxygen Not Included. Today we're gonna be going over morbs and spawning them, and also creating an environment so that they could produce polluted oxygen. If you guys didn't know, these guys are morbs, and they spawn from a full outhouse that requires emptying. Once your outhouses are used up and the arrows in the red, you guys need to actually clean it out. However, if you guys choose not to clean it out and not allow any dupes close by by denying them access via the doors, you could actually create a mechanism to spawn morbs. Of course, there's going to be a couple rules about this, and that the morbs are only going to be able to spawn from an outhouse once it's full. Another thing is that you're only going to be able to get one morb per outhouse unless you reset the outhouse. And of course, we'll go over how to reset the outhouse just as well. Now, of course, the rules for the spawning of the morbs really seems to just be you get one per outhouse. And if you guys were to reset the outhouse by having a mechanized airlock underneath open and close on automation, it will reset the outhouse so that you'll get a morb every three cycles. Of course, that's going to be the rules for that. If you don't have the mechanized airlock below to open and close to reset that outhouse, you're only going to get that one more. However, there's a weird bug in the game where every time you save load and then you load back up the save file, each time you load into the game, you actually reset the outhouse every time. That means that you will get one more every time you load a game. Meaning if you get that initial one that you would get with that outhouse and then you would save the game, load the game and still keep the outhouse full, you'll get a second morb. And of course that happens every time you save load. Although that is another method, it is going to be slower since you have to save and load the game. This way we're going to show you today is going to be more automated. Once a morb spawns on this tile, we have a critter sensor set to critters only, counting and sending a green signal above zero. Once a morb spawns, this door will open and the horizontal mechanized airlock will open as well. As the morbs are actually patched to be able to stand on both the horizontal and a double vertical mechanized airlock and the only way to remove the morb is by closing a door on top of it creating what's called a critter drop so we are able to open the mechanized airlock and the morb will be able to walk on top of the open door however once he walks into this tile the critter sensor will shut the door on them and there's you go a spawned morb so let's actually watch it in action as you can see he's actually able to walk around still he's not gonna fall through as that was patched in so we will wait he will crawl into the door the critter sensor is gonna realize that close this door resetting the outhouse you can see the flag reopens and then the morb falls to the bottom and by doing that we will get a new morb in three cycles of course the automation is straightforward it's literally just the critter sensor opening both doors and then closing it and the automation is above zero critters only now let's get to the second part the morbs producing oxygen now the rules for the morbs to produce oxygen the morbs are going to be able to produce oxygen if the gas pressure is below a thousand grams if it is at a thousand grams or higher they will not be able to pass gas each time they do pass gas it's that jumping animation and the polluted oxygen right there they create 200 grams on that tile they're standing on Another thing is, is that that amount of production is seemingly random. There is no fixed rate. There is no trigger for it. The morbs seemingly do it randomly. Any interval between 5 seconds, 3 seconds to 30 seconds between each production of polluted oxygen. We don't really know what causes them to spawn it. However, if the gas pressure is above 1000 grams per tile, they will no longer be passing gas. Another thing is they cannot be in a single tile. You could see that we have them walking across six tiles. They need a minimum of two tiles to be able to walk left and right in order to pass gas. Another thing is, is that they cannot be confined within a door. As you saw, the morb fell through the door. If you guys actually had layers of pneumatic down here, they would be stuck inside the doors. However, they would be confined. As a critter is confined, they lose a lot of their functions as well as for the morbs case not be able to produce polluted oxygen another thing is is that 
Although they can produce polluted oxygen while in a liquid, it is not advised as they will drown. Although these are a slime seemingly, they are not like the Slicksters where they flow on the top of the liquids. So if you do have water, polluted water here, it will impede the morbs and it is not advised as they may drown. Another thing is, is that in a vacuum, they do not produce polluted oxygen. And of course, the morbs will always produce polluted oxygen with slime lung. That being the case, you could use this way to fuel your puff farms if you want. You could also pump out the polluted oxygen into a filter area where the deodorizers could take care of the polluted oxygen safely. And they also have indefinite lifespan. This means that every three cycles, you're just going to add a new morb adding to the number you already have and because they do not have a lifespan they will live indefinitely and the amount of morbs you're going to be able to produce is potentially going to lag your game because of that i will say that you wouldn't need that many outhouses or maybe you might have a lot to get the initial group of morbs before disabling all the outhouses indefinitely so that you don't lag out your game but guys that has been the morb spawner with the critter drop design this is going to be an easy way to spawn morbs every three cycles and of course this is going to be probably the easiest setup that i've encountered if you guys have any questions about this leave a comment down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video and of course guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys